Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, dear viewers. Welcome back to Technology of Baitala once again. So today we are going to explain what is pointers. And uh, what is the concept of pointer and what will be the use of pointers in the code. Okay. So pointers is actually the type of variable that stores the address of some another variable. It's just like we have the different type of variables like integer, character, float, and long, etc. These are the different types of variables. Okay. So we have another special type of variable that is the pointer. And pointer will be used to hold the address of some integer type value or some character type value or some float type value or any other data types. Okay. Now it's just like if we have the pointer p1 and we have the type here int. So what's the purpose of int? Actually the, the pointer holds some address. So what will be the purpose of this int here? This int denotes that the pointer p1 that is the pointer that having the address of some integer type value. Okay. So if we are declaring the pointer like this character char after that steric p2 that means we have declared some pointer p2 that have the address of some character type value. And if we declare the pointer is just like this float steric p3. So it just means we are declaring the pointer p3 that was the address of which data type that is the float. Okay. So some floating point number having some address and that address will be assigned to this pointer p3. So simply after the concept of this pointer let's move towards the actual implementation within the code. It's just like if we are declaring a equals 20. a is an integer type variable okay and we have initialized it with the value 20. That means a having some memory in the memory structure of the computer. It's just like this okay and uh, we have the variable a and having the value 20 here. So that means a having some address in some memory. So suppose for holding that address we have to use some pointers now. And then it's just like int static p. We have to declare a pointer p. Okay. And uh, what's the data type here? Int we use. That means there's a pointer p that will hold the address of some integer type value. And then suppose we are talking about the end a. If we are using the end operator with the variable then it means that we are using the address of that variable. And it's just like if we are using and a, that means we are talking about the address of this variable a having the value 20 and having some address. It's just like 0x and so on in the memory. And then we have to assign the address of a into another pointer. It's just like p equals and a. That means we are assigning the address of a into some pointer. So we know that pointer having some address. Okay. So we are using the pointer to hold some address and hold some address of some variable that is variable a's address. So now keep in mind that the address of variable a that will be assigned to the pointer. So that means if we are accessing this value okay, that is 20 here. So we can access it with the variable a as well as with the pointer p. So now just keep in mind these four things in your mind. Then pointers will never be difficult to you. That means if we are talking about the variable, that means if we are using simple a, that means we are talking about the value. And if we use and a, that means we are talking about the address of a. And if we are using pointer, okay. Then if we use the p, that means we are using the address. And if we are using static p, that means we are accessing the value. Now that means, suppose if we are displaying static p with the cout statement, then what will be displayed here? It displays the value here, that is 20. Okay. And after that, if we are displaying variable a is value, then what will be displayed here right now? Once again, the value of a is 20. So 20 will be displayed here. Okay, nothing else. If you are displaying and a, then what will be displayed here? 
it displays the address of a got it and nothing else so with the help of and a we are displaying the address of a and after that if we are displaying the p okay the pointer without the strike that means we are displaying again the address of this location so overall the concept of pointer is we can access the value or the address of some variable with the help of pointer now let's change the code uh, some little bit so suppose if we are using uh, some addition in this location okay so we can add some number with the help of pointers as well now that means if you are using static p equals static p plus 10 static p means we are accessing the value so in this location we have some value and we want the increment of 10 in this value the 10 will be added into that location's value and now the updated value is that is 30 so now check it out if you are displaying the variable a's value see out a then what will be displayed now 20 or 30 right now the updated value on that location will be 30 okay whatever we are not using the variable a with the last statement we increment the value of 10 with the help of pointer not with the help of variable a so we can use it and we can also say that we can also add some value uh, with the help of variable itself and it's just like if we are using a equals a plus 10 the value of a is now 30 30 plus 10 will be 40 and 40 will be assigned to the variable a now and after that if we are displaying some value and with the help of pointer now suppose then we can say that static p means we are displaying the value on that location and that location we have the value 40 now okay so 40 will be displayed here so after understanding this code let's move towards the actual structure of the pointers and it's just like if we are using some variable a then we have the variable a and having some value suppose that's the value of 40 okay and it has some address here okay the address of a so we can use some pointer to hold the address of a it's just like this if we are using that uh, address of a so this is the pointer static p okay and uh, having which address the address of a okay and this pointer having its own address also okay so this is the actual structure of the pointer now just remember these two things while you are working on the pointers the pointers will never be difficult to you anymore okay firstly how we can access the address and how we can access the value just remember this pictorial representation in your mind okay so if we are using the variable a and we are using the pointers p for that address okay then we are using that value with the help of variable a okay and with the help of steric p so if we display the a we can also use that value that is 40 and if we are using steric p that means once again we are accessing the value that is 40 and if we are talking about the address then if we are using variable then we have to use and a for accessing that address and if we are using pointer then we can use it with the help of p pointer without steric remember this okay so just remember these four things okay in your mind and now suppose we are moving towards some codes okay with the help of pointers so let's see after the header files we are using the variable a having the value 20 okay after that we declare the pointer static p and then we are accessing the address of a and assign into the pointer p and after that if we are displaying the static p that means we are talking about the value that is 20 and if we display the a that means we are once again displaying the value that is 20 and if we are displaying the and a that means this is the address okay and if we are displaying the p that means once again we are using the address of it now i have to run it and compile it okay now what's the output of it now check it out firstly with the help of steric p we display the value that is 20 and then we display the variable a that is once again 20 
and after that if we are displaying and a so then address will be displayed here it's just like 0x and something and then if we are displaying the p that means we are again displaying the address of it and after that suppose we can use another program we are using once again pointers okay and then we have to change the value with the help of pointers now so we can easily change it with the help of these statements now just suppose we are having the statement static p equals static p plus 10 that means we are accessing the value and we are adding some value on that location okay so the value will be 30 after the increment of 10 and after that we are displaying c out a okay and after that again increment in a with the help of variable a now with the increment of 10 okay now after that we are displaying static p that means once again the output will be the value that is 40 now now let's suppose if I run this program and compile it suppose and then what's the output of it so now the updated value is 40 now so the variable a having the value 40 so that's the whole story of the pointers uh, that uh, what's the concept of pointer and uh, how we can use that pointers uh, while holding the address of something in our codes in the different ways so thank you so much for watching